Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. A lot's going on in the Muslim Ummah and a lot's been going on in India to such a degree that since the last time I made a video so many mad things have happened. हमने तो धर्म युद्ध का आगाज कर दिया A bunch of radical Hindus waving swords, blasting loud music and shouting strange slogans and threatening slogans like if you don't take the name of Ram, then leave the country. And seeing that, why? What could possess you to do something like that? Then stones start getting thrown as well. So because stones are getting thrown, the Muslims are not going to just sit there and you know just accept everything. Naturally, they threw stones as well. Oh no! Now there's a provocation. Now there's an actual reason for you to start doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're going to justify it. So now we're seeing clips of police officers. Yeah, either doing nothing, <laughs> either they're doing nothing, or the police officers are getting involved in this as well. There's a mosque that was burnt, and houses are also being burnt as well. And now the Muslims that reacted, yeah, that threw the stones. What then happened was their houses are being demolished. Here yeah, bulldozers are coming and they are demolishing their houses. Bullying people that are going to pray in mosques, waving swords about, police getting involved. The people that are defending themselves, the houses getting bulldozed. I mean, have you heard something like this? Yeah, this is what's happening in India. Yes, we're not at the genocide stage. But this is the track that it's going towards. And we are thinking that we will do the first thing that we will do with their nursing. Just I think about a week or two ago, Ilhan Omar spoke about this in the uh, American Senate to the leaders. But why is it taking this long? Yeah, why? Because India is a valued economic partner. Yeah, it's money at the end of the day and it's power. Yeah, it's not about human rights, it's not about freedom, it's not about helping a group of people. What it is, is politics at the end of the day. So next time they say, oh, uh, this is human rights and this is women's rights. What about, what about the women that are being injured in, in Palestine? What about the women that are being injured and their homes are being bulldozed and now, <laughs> subhanallah, they can't eat. They can't eat, yeah? The whole livelihood is finished. Why? Because the people are resisting. I don't know what this is. It's not bullying. There's a word that I can't even... Uh, it doesn't even exist in the English language, frankly. May Allah make it easy for our brothers and sisters that are in India. Let's not forget them in Ramadan. The last 10 nights are approaching. Let's make a dua for them. Let's remember them and you know, that's why I, I don't tolerate when somebody comes out, oh, Muslims, extremists and terrorists. No, 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 don't, don't come with that crap, frankly. Don't come with that garbage because we're, we're seeing a clear hypocrisy here, frankly. And that's the reason why we can't rely on our own rulers because they're too much after politics and economy. We need our own rulers, yeah? Now, Allah alam how practical it is. We don't even talk about Khilafat, frankly, yeah? Muslim leadership, yeah? And of course, it's very important, guys, that we make our relationship with Allah strong because Allah is not going to ask us about the results. Allah is going to ask us what we did. So even if we're doing something small, a dua, charity, even spreading the message, whatever it is, guys, yeah, we're not responsible for the results. The results are in the hands of Allah. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.